So in AutoCAD, so we have four method of entering coordinate. We have absolute Cartesian coordinate, relative Cartesian coordinate, absolute polar coordinate, and we have the relative polar coordinate. So for absolute, so you need to uh, input the value of your x and the value of your y. For relative, you just need to insert at sign before the value of your x and y. For absolute polar, so you have the direct value or length of the line plus yung angle. For relative, polar coordinate, so you have the at sign and the uh, value which is 6 and then yung angle. So in this figure or yung figure 8, yung line drawing, so for example, you have uh, your origin, which is yung value po natin is 0 and 0. So kapag uh, sinet po yung starting starting point mo is 2 and 2. So dito mag-uumpisa yung yung pag-draw ng line. And then, once na nag-input ka ulit, and then you input 10, 5, and 4, then definitely makakapag-draw ka ng line na ganito yung mitsura. So, how to draw using absolute partition coordinate system? So, example, mag-draw ka ng line. Specify starting point, 2 and 2. Specify next point, 5 and 4. So, the length of the line is calculated from original point, which is from origin. Okay, so, gawin natin siya sa AutoCAD. So, i-enter natin yung command uh, alias. So, for line, ang alias natin for line is L. So, hindi mo na kailangan i-type yung buong uh, command name. Instead, kailangan mo lang i-familiar yung sarili mo sa mga alias. So, for example, yun, sa line, so L, then enter. So, kap ang command is specify your first point. So, for example, 2, comma 2, then enter. Then, ang sunod natin value. 5 and 4, 5 comma 4, enter. So, you have this drawing. Then, when you're done drawing your uh, line, press escape. Then, you have this line. Then, for uh, uh, your project 1A, e, absolute coordinate entry, so, record the absolute coordinate for each point for drawing the object. Okay, so ito yung pinaka-starting point nyo, which is uh, 3 and 3. So, your x is 1, 2, 3, then your y is 1, 2, 3. Okay, how about your point 2? Your point 2 is 3 and 5. Okay, good. How about point 3? 5 and 5, correct, point 4, 5 and 7, correct, point 5, 3 and 7, correct, point 6, 3 and 8, correct, point 7, 9 and 8, correct, point 8, 9 and 7, correct, Point 0.9, 7 and 7, correct. Point 0.10, 7 and 5, correct. Point 11, 9 and 5, correct. And then you have the uh, point 0.12, 9 and 3, and then your point 0.13 would be 3 and 3. Okay, so gawin po natin siya sa ating AutoCAD. So, makikreate ako ng new drawing. So, sa ating new drawing, so, ang nakasat sa ating startup ay 1. Kaya ganito yung lumalabas. 
sa akin. So, pa paano ba baguhin yung value ng startup? So, i-type sa command line, startup, then enter, then palitan mo yung value from 1 to 0. So, kapag 0 yung startup value mo, so, pag nag-create ka ng new drawing, so, you, you can select, select from template. So, i-cancel natin to, ibalik natin yung ating startup value, gawin ulit natin siyang 1, para kapag nag-insert tayo or nag-create tayo ng new drawing, so, makakapamili tayo ng uh, may option tayo, open drawing, start from scratch, use template, then use a wizard. So, gawin din natin, create from scratch, then default setting, either inferior or metric, select inferior, then Click OK. So, sa pag-create uh, ng new drawing, lagi kong isinuset ang aking grid. So, ang shortcut ko niya is F7. Then, lagi ko ding ino-on is yung uh, ortho moon, which is yung F8. Ano bang pagkakaiba kapag yung ortho ay naka-on and off? Pag naka-on, pag nag-draw ka ng line, example, okay, straight line. So, magiging direction lang ng iyong uh, cursor is horizontal or vertical. Kapag naka-off naman, okay, pag nag-draw ka ng line, so, you can move your uh, mouse cursor in any direction. So, since yung drawing na gagawin natin ay puro straight line, okay, so yung auto mode uh, natin. Ulit, ang shortcut ki natin for grid is F7 and then ang shortcut ki natin for auto and off is F8. Okay, so balik tayo dito. Starting point natin is 3, 3. So, create tayo ng line. Type 3, comma 3. Enter. Then, balik tayo. Second point. Second point natin is 3 and 5. Okay. So, ulit. Line. 9. 3, and 3, okay. Then, so not is 3 and 5. 3, comma, 5. Okay, yung papansin nyo, okay, since naka-absolute, coordinate entry tayo, so, hindi natin kailangan uh, i-move yung uh, mouse cursor natin kung saan mang uh, direction natin ito-draw yung ating line. Then, next point 3 is 5 and 5. 5, 5. Okay, nakakasunod. Then, next point 4 is 5, 7. 5, 7. Then, we have Point 0.5, which is 3 and 7. 3, 7. Then, point 0.6, 3 and 8. 3, 8. Point 0.7, 9 and 8. 9, 8. Then, Point 0.8, 9 and 7, 9 comma 7, point 0.9, 7, 7, 7 comma 7, then point 0.10, 7, 5, 7 comma 5, then Point eleven nine five your x is nine then comma your y is five then your point twelve 
is 9, 3, 9, 3, then 3, 3. Yan po. So, drawing na natin yung same uh, figure na meron tayo dito sa ating uh, module gamit ang absolute coordinate entry. Thank you.